Hey guys, hello and welcome to another Divi tutorial brought to you by the team at Divi Engine. My name is Roby and today I'm going to be showing you how you can add modules to various spots within your Divi website that normally you wouldn't be able to. Looking here on the screen, we can see that I've got a module here in the widget area in the footer. I've got a module within a module, this login module is inside of this blurb module. And then also up here, I have it in the menu. So a lot of cool stuff you can do with this. So without wasting your time, let's get into it. Let's get cooking. Alrighty, so the first thing we need to do for today's tutorial is to log into the back end of our Divi install and then go to the pages area because first we need to add a, a login module for this example, but you can really add any module, but we're going to be adding this module to the page because we have to extract the short code that Divi generates for that module so we can move it around the site. So let's go to pages and I'm just going to click on add new year. Now, next, I'm just going to add login. Since we'll be using a login module, it makes sense to give it a nice descriptive name. But again, you can call it whatever you like. And again, also, you can use any type of module that you want. We're going to say build from scratch. And you can also add this to existing page. This is just so we can see what th that code looks like when we get to that point. So I'm going to type in login. Add that in there. We're not going to do any changes here yet, but you can also... Let's, well, let's do this. Let's say login module tutorial, just so that we can see it on the page. And just click that. We're going to click publish. And you know, as you guys know, Divi is comprised of all these different modules and rows and columns that you throw together in a nice visual way. But what happens is once you turn off the Divi, like actual theme plugin or the Divi Boulder, it's going to generate all those different short codes, which actually gets processed to generate the HTML on the front end of the site. So to get that going and to get that code for this login module, we're going to go to appearance. We're going to say themes. Now here you're going to want to select one of the other themes that you have. I have my child theme here. I'm just going to use the stock 2021 theme and press activate. And that'll disable the Divi plugin or Divi uh, theme rather. And now we're going to go back to our pages here and go towards that page that we just created. And we're just going to right click here and say open in a new tab so we can view it. Okay, so here we see the, the, the different codes that was generated. It's not a lot, eh? We've got our section. We can see that it tells us it's a section, then the row, and then the column. It's pretty logical. It's the same way you see it on the page. And then here we have what we're interested in is the ETPB login. Now it tells you what Divi Boulder version you'll be using. And it also tells you the title that we put in there. So that's pretty cool that it's there and it allows you to move that around the page. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna go Control C to copy that. And then we'll go back to the back end of our site. Okay, so once we're back on our site, we have to go and re-enable the Divi Boulder. This is because we needed to be able to process the short codes, the ones that we just copied. So let's just go back to appearance, say themes, and then we're going to activate our child theme. Alrighty. With that active, now we can go to our widget area. And we're going to target that footer area. So here we've got calendar. We'll draw, draw the calendar in there. But what we need here is we need this custom HTML element. So we're going to drag the custom HTML into footer area 2. We don't need to give it a title, but what we, what we do need to do is we need to copy that code, that short code that we um, targeted earlier. So we can see this is our login one because it says login module tutorial. So all you need to do is save. And then we can take a quick look and see what that looks like on the front end of the site. Okay, so you're on the front end of the site. Let's just refresh that page. And there we see, we've got our login tutorial here at the bottom, or the, or the actual module. And you can see there's the one that we created earlier. So you can see that it was added to the widget area. That was super simple and very quick. Wasn't that hard to do. Um, now, the other thing that we can do is we can also add it to a menu item up here. And now, you, just another note that I want to add here is you don't see the um, you know username password bars because I'm logged in already, obviously. But, you know, just so you know, and you don't get alarmed because of that. Um, we're going to add another menu link up here. We'll just call it login or something. And then we'll just add that short code yet again. So we still have that short code on our clipboard. So now let's get, go back to the back end of the site again. 
Okay, so back in the back end of the site, we need to do one thing before we can get that module in the menu. The reason is, is because natively, Divi doesn't allow you, or WordPress doesn't allow you to process shortcodes in the menus. So we have to, have to add a plugin called Shortcode and Menus. Super simple, name makes a lot of sense. So to do that, let's go to Plugins, then Add New. And then we'll just search for Shortcode in Menu. There we go. And it's going to be this one right here. So install. And then activate. Now once this is activated, this is super simple. All you need to do is throw the shortcode in and it will work just like it did before when we were adding it to the widget area on the bottom. Now let's go to appearance and menus and we'll add that login item to the menu here. Um, but we're just gonna use a custom link. We'll just say, we'll put a hash here for this because we don't want it to click through. And we'll say log me in. And then add that. Now we wanna add a sub menu item here. So we're gonna go custom link again. We'll just use the hash. But now for the link text, you go ahead and you paste that short code. And you just click add, and you just pull it over a little bit to make it a sub menu item here to the log me in portion. Hit save on that. And now you might have to create a menu if you don't have one yet, and just make sure you assign it as your primary menu if that is the case. So let's go back to that front end page and see what it looks like now. Okay, so back here on the front end, let's refresh the page. Now we see log me in there. And when you hover, you can see all the information. Now, when you're not logged in, you'll see the login bar. So it'll be that nice, easy way for people to log into the site. Now, another thing to mention here is that you can paste these short codes anywhere where the actual Divi will render the short code. So it could be a text box within a blurb module, like I showed you in the beginning of the tutorial, or any other place where it makes sense. The only thing I'd caution is that this is very cool and it's easy to use, but you know it's not great to overuse something like this because it can make your website a little cluttery to navigate. And um, but you know, if you use it sparingly, use it in the right place, you're gonna look fantastic. And that's it, guys. That that, that really is the extent of the tutorial. So definitely be sure to play around with it, see what works best for you. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial video, guys. Be sure to check out the rest of our tutorials at the Divi Engine website. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. My name is Roby. You're on behalf of the Divi Engine team. You guys have yourself a great day.